When it comes to search, how do you surface the best results when the best results may not contain any of the words used in a given query? How do you surface the best results when a given query doesn't contain any words at all? Welcome to Elastic Snackable Shorts. My name is Dan, product marketer here at Elastic. You see, most folks know Elastic, you know, for search. But did you know you can also use Elasticsearch to store and search vectors? In this video, I'll be highlighting how Elasticsearch's vector search capabilities can help your organization to unlock and deliver powerful new search experiences. But before we start, remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on all things Elastic. Now, back to the topic at hand. What are vector search capabilities? Well, when it comes to vector search, one, you need to be able to convert both your document corpus and all search queries into vectors. Two, you need to be able to efficiently store these vectors in a way that facilitates vector math. And three, you need to be able to complete vector math functions quickly and efficiently. But why should you care? Well, you should care because user queries may not always contain the right keywords or information for term frequency-based search algorithms to return the most relevant results. This is where Elastic comes in. With Elastic, you can store and search vectors with ease. As you can see here, term frequency and keyword search are essentially sparse vector operations. And over the last several years, Elastic has taken steps to provide the tools required to efficiently work with dense vectors as well. Now, while having vector search capabilities is important in terms of deciphering query context and bringing semantic search to life, what's even better is how these capabilities are baked into the only data platform that enables everyone to find answers that matter across all data at scale in real time. If you're interested in using vector search to build best-in-class search experiences, I encourage you to click the link below to get started with Elasticsearch today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.